Alrighty, folks. Let's see what is inside this unit. Goodbye, bad bye. It's time to find out. Well, it's been some time, but never fear. It is storage auction day. Well, online storage auction day. I actually bought the unit behind me, a 10 by 15 for a whopping $20. No competition, no other bidders, an easy win. What's inside? Was it a good buy? Let's find out. Alrighty, folks. Let's see what is inside this unit. Goodbye, bad buy. It's time to find out. So yes, I did see pictures online and I thought, you know what, this will fit in my car. And that was one of the main reasons why I purchased this unit. I'm able to fit at least eight trash bags in my car, I know from prior experience. So we have one, two, three, four, five, about six trash bags, two boxes there, a box there, this mirror, which should go flat. I mean, the step stool is about $5 right there at the flea market. And then there's, where is Aunt Sally? I'm not sure. That's like a, a street sign. We have some tickets. I don't know what's in here. So who knows what's in there? We'll have to find out. But um, yeah, you know, did the previous owner come in, take what they want, leave the rest? Oh, they're stuffed animals. We have a Santa. Oh, well, look at this. No way. A Sylvania? This is a camera stand. This could, this, this might be good. All right, less talking, more digging. Let's see what we have. Well, my purchase is already gonna come in handy because I have a little chair to sit on. <laughs> uh, let's start off with this camera box. It's heavy. All right, we have, Jolly, jolly old Saint Nick. The box says sweaters. Lunch tray. Elephant. All right, so we have a nice tripod. Does that have a brand? It just says, I don't know. But again, you know, five bucks at the flea market. So I'm already at $10. Some hangers. Let's put this down so we can have a look see in here. Hangers. Now, what is this? Oh, it's a speaker. Sylvania speaker. Hmm. Good Mickey. Oh, Mickey, you're so fine. He's still in the box. $19.99. <laughs> the cost of my unit. unit is jackpot a winner tissue paper but um oh <laughs> we have some pain reliever looks like something for a vape and then dice first aid cream no jewelry yet They were a smoker. We have, you know, your usual bag of toiletry stuff. Oh shoot. We spilled some nail polish from over. Darn it. You gotta watch out for that. At least it was that and that. these are open. <sighs> okay, we gotta be careful. Body lotion. Where's this from? I don't think it's dead bath and beyond. All right, we're gonna put this aside. Wipes, which I'll actually put the open containers in there. Oh, and we have soda tabs. There is a uh, clip on earring. Fake nails, 30 cents at Walmart. 
Walmart shopper. They're really tricking us here with these jewelry boxes. Is this a phone? Let's see what's inside. Jewelry. We have some hoop earrings. Be thankful necklace. And some more little bracelets. Found gold. Fake gold that is. One box down. What I've actually done is I've brought other garbage bags with me so that I can kind of crush down the boxes and already have the garbage bags done. So I don't have to go through the boxes again when I get home. So let's go through this bag so we can get to those boxes. Let's go with clothing. Maybe we'll find some vintage, vintage shirts. Doesn't know what we all want. Clothing, bath mat, bras. What's this shirt? Oh, it's Dracula. Bite me, it says. That's fun. And some dresses. Oh, that's pretty. I wonder if I can fit this. <laughs> Nine West. I mean, that's not a cheap brand, I don't think. This looks like old navy-ish. Box number two. It says shadow boxes on it. Oh my gosh, how cute is this? <laughs> I will not be eating that candy. Looks like we have more kids stuff. Tic Tac toy. Urban up. Box of bat bag of batteries. Do have some frames. Treat tins. Stigma. Empty case. Little outdoor lantern. Oh, look at these shoes. These would be great for like cosplay. Those that cosplay. This will probably five bucks in the mini market. We have some Coca Cola glasses. He's from the Minions, I think. Money! Just kidding. It's a. Uh, um, like sachets to smell good. So what do they have in the dresser and the chest? Well, let's find out. Looks like stuff. There's some artwork. Glamoween. Maybe this is like the Halloween box of things. Shirt and Slack Rental Service, Hillside, New Jersey. Who gives this out anymore? Ariel. What in the world? Handcuffs? These are heavy. It says, Sile New Police Head Handcuffs Made in Spain. Are these legal? Stuff, so I'll get my $20 back. <laughs> yeah, but they're like, it, they're heavy too. It says new police handcuffs. Yeah, she's got some good stuff. It says new police handcuffs. So like, I don't think these are just like play handcuffs. I can tell you, I worked in a prison. I can tell you if they're like legit. Made in Spain. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks to the help of other storage auction buyers, um, these are real police handcuffs, most likely used in a correctional facility, and I am able to sell these on eBay, and they are currently going for around $40. So thanks to a pair of handcuffs, 
I made my money back. Plus 20 bucks. Who would have thought? I'll have to really dig through that box to see if I can find the key. There, finally. One bag left. Um, another bag is just all garbage, so not worth showing you. But we have where's Aunt, Aunt Sally? And then we have to see what is in here. It's like whatever it is. Oh, headboard. It's like a, a headboard for a bed. <laughs> There's no sense in traveling it. It's just gonna have to go straight to the trash. But yeah, it's just like a foamy uh, piece that you put at the top of your bed with your planetary view. Let's see what's in the last bag and then that'll wrap it up for this one. I am sweating. Sure, you can tell. All right, so we have one last bag. Toaster on it? Beauty. Oh, it's a tote. Oh, this will be much easier to condense in my car by actually putting it on oh, just the right way. Oh, it is a toaster. <laughs> Chocolates. I hope they're not in here. Oh my gosh, it's the guy from um, Little Monsters? What year is this? 2019, Nickelodeon, Nick 90s plush. I might have to look him up, you just never know. Oh, what's this? Coach? Uh, no, I don't know anything about Coach. I can't tell real or fakes. Lighter. Another vape thing. Is this real? Is it fake? I don't know. Found coach. This way, decorating kits. So yeah, I mean, this unit, it's not necessarily. This beach stuff? It is, this beach. It's not necessarily trash. Um, but I guess you can kind of see why, like, if someone, you know, say that they were paying on this unit and they decided to come back and take what they wanted, like, uh, do they really want all this other stuff? Because it necessarily is just stuff. Handcuffs are the thing that throws me off, though. <laughs> well, close call fitting it all in, but I think I am going to be able to fit everything in. Just have to put a few things. Mickey K 
can't forget Mickey, you have to put him inside. But um, yeah, so this was a $20 storage unit. Some trash, a lot of sellable items. I'll have to go through the clothes. I'll have to go through all the boxes. Uh, the strangest thing and the item that I will make my money back on Authentic handcuffs and if the key is in there even better how they got in this box in this unit I don't know but um, yeah you never know what you're going to find in the storage unit and that's what makes it so great so I hope that you enjoyed this maybe the next unit hopefully the next unit will find some vintage antique items but until then we'll keep looking for the little things and having fun while doing it. Well, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. I will see you all next time for the next adventure here at Paper and Moose.